Android Oreo, the latest iteration of Android operating system that is released on 21st August and it is the next big update of Android OS. Now, all the major OEM is trying their best to bring this update to their flagship devices and among all the major OEMs, OnePlus has become the first company to bring a pretty stable update of Android Oreo for their last year flagship device OnePlus 3T. Now, why I am saying that this is a stable update? Because I am testing this Android Audio ROM since almost 5 days on my OnePlus 3T and in my usage, I have tested each and every aspect of this ROM and more surprisingly, all the Android Audio features are working just fine including the hardware. More on that in the later part of the video. And for those who are wondering which skin I am rocking on my OnePlus 3T, it's the white marble skin from dbrand and a huge shout out for the good folks at dbrand for sending me bunch of cool looking skins which by the way I am going to give away soon so stay tuned. So in this video, I am going to do a full review of Android Audio ROM on OnePlus 3T and also I will be showing all the newly added audio features in action. Excited? So let's get started. Last week we came to know that OnePlus is testing the Android Audio build for OnePlus 3T and OnePlus 5 in a closed beta form and just few days back this Android Audio ROM get leaked online. Now this Android Audio build is based on Hydrogen OS which is the Chinese sibling of Oxygen OS so this ROM comes with some Chinese plot wares which can be easily installed if you don't want them. Now if you go into the setting menu there is nothing new like we have seen in Android Audio setting menu but as we all know that this is the initial audio build. Maybe they will add that in the future build or maybe they want to keep it like this. Now if you go to the about phone you can clearly see that this is the Android Audio 8.0 which is based on Hydrogen OS and the Android security patch is of 1st September. 2017. Now, if we talk about the aesthetics, everything looks just like the stock Android Audio that we saw in Pixel devices. By doing the swipe up gesture, you can access the app drawer. By just tapping and holding an icon will trigger the app shortcut feature which is actually very useful and will save you from few clicks. For instance, you can directly take a video or selfie using this app shortcut feature. Additionally, there is also a very cool feature known as notification dots which is introduced in Android Audio. Now, this will basically allow users to see notifications they have missed without pulling down the drop down menu from the top of your screen. The notification shade is also redesigned as now you get 4x3 tiles and swiping right from the home screen will get you to the shelf as usual. Now, if we talk about the performance then I must say that I am pretty impressed. Seriously. Initially when I installed this ROM, I was not expecting this to be very stable as this is the first build. But after using it for few hours, I was impressed with its stability. Everything like the camera, audio and fingerprint is working as they work in a stable ROM and that's exactly why now I am using this as my daily driver. In my usage, I found that the performance is top notch. The UI is very fast and responsive just like in a stock ROM and there is no lag while switching between apps and games. Moving forward to its camera which is also working just fine. Both front as well as back shooter can click some really awesome pictures and during my usage the camera app doesn't crash even once. In terms of camera quality, I didn't find any major change or improvement from Android Nougat so don't expect it to perform better than Android Nougat's version. Also the fingerprint scanner is working like a charm and the fingerprint scanner of OnePlus 3T is still one of the fastest scanner in the market. The battery backup is also decent. With a moderate usage, I am getting about 5 hours of screen on time which is almost similar to what I was getting in Android Nougat and that really disappoints me as I was expecting some improvements in battery department. Hope they will improve the battery backup in the final audio build. Now the installation of this ROM is entirely different and as of now it can only be installed through MSM download tool which is a bit tricky. So let's see if we can hit 500 likes in this video then I'll be making a detailed video on how you can install this ROM right now. Now let's talk about the changes and features that we will be getting in Android Audio for our OnePlus 3T and one of the most interesting feature is the picture in picture mode which is basically a type of split screen window that should be particularly useful for watching videos while performing other tasks. The apps will need to be updated to support the new API and as of now this feature is only supported by YouTube, Chrome and WhatsApp. Next up we have the autofill API that simply try to help app manage password and form better data than in previous versions of Android. The autofill app stores and secures user data such as addresses, usernames and even passwords to assign autofill apps. For instance, if you open an app like Twitter and you want to sign in into your account. Now this will automatically show you the suggestion for your username. Once selected, it will automatically fill the password and now you are good to go. Next up is the Hi-Fi Bluetooth codec and this one is my favorite. 
As we all know, Bluetooth has always been criticized for its lower audio quality when compared to a set of wired headphones. And nowadays, 3.5mm jack is becoming less standard as all the major smartphone companies are getting rid of it and focusing more towards wireless audio. Thankfully, Google has added a handful of high-quality Bluetooth codecs to Android Oreo which is hidden inside the developer's option. By using these codecs, you can definitely find significant improvements in audio quality. It supports codecs like Sony LDAC, SBC, AAC, APTX and APTX HD. Other cool features include notification channels that lets you choose between less useful and more useful notifications for a specific app, a snooze notification that will make the notification go away for a specified time then come right back when the time is up so that you never misses any of your notifications and the list is actually quite long. I had made couple of videos on Android audio features and changes that you can watch to get a better idea. Now, I would also like to mention those audio features that are not available yet. Adaptive icons, navigation bar tuner, custom lock screen and redesign setting menu is not implemented as of now. But I hope they will soon release these missing features in the open beta form. So guys that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.